Welcome again, and I hope you're enjoying the program. And now I've got a really new colleague whom I met recently, and he's just proper Jankanu. He's actual Jankanu itself, from what I've seen. He's done all sorts of things, and he's also involved with a lot of different uh, festivals, especially Camp Festival. And I think we're chatting, we're getting some artists to go to Camp Festival and so on. So without any further ado, I'm going to introduce to you my guest, who is Mr. Nick. Carston. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, oh, fantastic. Sorry, sorry, Pax. How are you doing? Lovely to see oh, you. Okay. Here. What were you doing there? What are you doing, Matt? <laughs> oh, I'm having a little bit of fun here, Pax. We've um, we've built a cardboard Coventry Cathedral oh, yeah? in a school playground in Coventry, and we're we're literally taking it all oh, over see. the UK to oh, inspire yeah? kids to aim to aim high, to aim not just high but higher than high, and it's all basically a cardboard set. That we're using a bit like you with a little bit of creativity a bit of cardboard and a little bit of codes to inspire kids in and out of lockdown really <laughs> oh my boy that, that is really really inspiring man yeah and also last time when he interviewed me i was so shocked because i ended up on stage with you i'm like wait a minute i didn't i didn't sign up for this what's going on and all of a sudden i was on stage <laughs> only that i didn't have my you guitar i would have performed as well you know yeah I think you were at Glastonbury that time, weren't you, I think? I know. Yes, you're on our cardboard Glastonbury pyramid stage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's that one there that you just showed me now? So this is this is Coventry Cathedral you see behind me here. Okay. And this was inspired a beautiful cardboard drawing that a cardboard artist called Daryl Wakelam created for us, who, who was chatting with us that time mm -hmm, we were mm -hmm. online. And, yeah. and he had a lovely little detail in it. So I don't know if you know much about Coventry Cathedral, but basically in the war it was bombed and the day after it was bombed, they said, we're going to build it again as a sign of rising against adversity. And I think there's nothing more poignant for, than for a rocket to take off of our yeah. cardboard model there. So yeah. we've, had a bit of a, we've had a bit of a summer of it. Here's another one, Pax. This is a model oh, of Ludlow Church God. in Shropshire. Yeah. And the tower takes off on this as well. We've got CGI videos of that happening. It's all part of the show to in inspire kids, really, and, and get the community buzzing for creativity. My, that amazing, <laughs> super amazing. But the thing is, it, uh, when I sort of, uh, Chris, Christopher told me about you, and, uh, you know, Chris says, you're just like, you need to meet this blog, you need to meet the blog. And I didn't know what I was talking about. Then when I met you, come on, you just, uh, just described you here as Jankan itself. How did you get the inspiration? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but I realize now, and this is what I say when I go into school communities across the country, there are the three greatest gifts we can give our children are some of our time, some stories, and there are. I mean, I was a little boy. My dad gave me a train set, and I've got a lovely video of me and my train set, the track going around me and my dad and the train set. And he gave me my imagination. He encouraged me to be creative. He gave me stories that I now tell. I tell that story to kids all over the country. But most importantly, he gave me... He gave me my art, you know, he gave me something that I can use to connect with other people, to make some money, to make some friends, to make the world a better place. I became an engineer. I've always loved making stuff. I was a Blue Peter child. I'm sure you were as well. <laughs> and I just love, I just, I just love making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I have to say I missed, I missed the, the, the Blue Peter uh, part of it because I was in Zimbabwe when all that was happening. Hey, stop it. Yeah, I was in Zimbabwe when all the Blue Peter thing was happening. So I did miss that because I only came in England late 80s, 90s, when, you know, Peter Andre and all gone into adults now. So somebody said, that's a Blue Peter present. I'm like, no, that's too old for a previous visit because I came too late. <laughs> right. So do you see the little clip I just had to play? I did. That's my hometown in Shropshire, the Ludlow. I was the patron of Ludlow Fringe Festival this year, which I was absolutely delighted about. Really fantastic opportunity. And that's the event that you spoke at, uh, one of the, the Art of Cardboard, one of 10 Art Connects 21 events that we ran. Wow. And that, is that your van there? It's not my van. I wish it was. We were, we were very lucky. We got sponsored by a, a team called the In Inspiration 4 Rocket Mission, who are going to space in September. Mm -hmm. They gave us some sponsorship, and we managed to rent that camper van for a few weeks, and we drove around the UK with it, visiting hey, school there was my stage across the country. There you go. Oh, you saw that. Yeah, there's the, uh, my, the glass. That's my stage. stage. That's my stage, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. So what, what was the event you were doing at the time? That was Ludlow Fringe Festival. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's my hometown. It's in a fringe festival that runs a whole month through the middle of June to the middle of July. Wait, wait, wait. And it wait, really wait. is wonderful. Wait, Nick, I just seen something flying off there. What's that? What happened that's, there? Well, that's, that's, this was that's the what model you were showing that we me used. earlier. 
This, that's right. So this is the model that we use, and that's some um, Ludlow Parish Church with wow. the tower taking off, which we did. We did yes. in CGI. We did some computer graphics for that. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Ah, oh, okay. And we've got to we've got to engage kids' packs, as you know, and we've got to engage them with what they're into, and they're not necessarily into cardboard modeling day one, but they yes. love tech, they love creativity, they love computers. Right. Mm -hmm. So we we we're, we're kind of pulling them in the back door, really, if you like. And oh, this wow. is um, a little Glastonbury event we did in in the in the town square. Mm -hmm. We had kids mm -hmm. making snails and leaving those all over the country with an app called what three words they could geotag them but look at those kids there i mean just a few bits wow. of paper packs and some sticky tape you know they're wow. loving it I so know. that's, and that's then what look we're talking how happy about. they are just look how happy they are man. flying and they? this is what the arts can this is what the arts council are funding now they're funding grassroots community projects that engage children that engage parents that engage whole communities and mm. i know that's what you're really passionate about as yeah, well yeah 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 no, this is brilliant, you know, and also I was just looking at information about your information about your organization, Steam Company. Yeah, that's what you call Steam it. Co. Steam Co. Don't, don't, don't ever say Steam company. We, we're Steam Co. And the Co. stands for collaboration packs, not company, but collaboration. Oh, I see. We're a non-profit community enterprise. We're not a company or a community enterprise. Quite ah, particular about that, okay. as you just realized. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, the thing that really attracted me is I didn't read anything. I, all I saw was carnival. Said, oh, wait a minute. What's that? What's that? What's that? And then we'll be celebrating. Then you go cardboard. That's me. Carnival. That's me. It just goes on and on. It's like, you know, you're doing the right thing, <laughs> mate. Yeah. And the one more thing I was going to ask you about is uh, because, I mean, me and you, we could chat forever, isn't it? For 20 years, I think. Uh, so one thing I was going to ask you is because I actually got to to link up with you with some artists as well to do with Camp Vest Festival. And you seem to That's be highly right. involved with it. What's, what's your story with Camp Festival? Well, how long have you got, Pax? I mean, basically, I went to Camp Festival. <laughs> to, oh, just... Yeah, <laughs> we, we, went, we went to Camp Festival just over 10 years ago, and I was so inspired. I thought, I want this in my kid's school. So mm -hmm. we went back to our school and we started running mini creativity festivals. Yeah. inspired by Rob and Josie DeBank at Camp Festival. And we've been doing it for 10 years. And five years ago, I gave my career up and I travel all over the country running creativity days in schools. And I now I'm on a mission, if you like, to get more people like me on the ground. Mm. So next year, I want to get 22 people like me with a little trailer driving all over the country in their own area, running creativity days, cardboard festivals, carnivals, um, and, and making rockets and doing painting and coding, all these things that really help kids find that one thing that they're passionate about that I call their art. Well, on those group people you're looking for, make sure Jankanu is one of them. We'll have the track and then we'll take off Jankanu all over the place. And the kids will be making programs about you from the track. Absolutely. I think this is a match made in heaven, Pax. So I think we're going to go a long yeah, way together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, definitely. <laughs> so, no. so basically, so at, at Camp Festival in two weeks, what we're doing is uh, Rob and Josie DeBank have asked us to run a thing called the Art Town, which is the biggest creative area at Camp Festival. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're going to be doing a thing called an Art Town Takeover with the theme of a mission to Mars. Wow. I don't know if you know, but Elon Musk is on a mission to take a million people to Mars by 2050. Oh, yeah? And we believe that we, yeah, so we believe if it's going to be anything worth a life worth living, they need creativity, they need Camp Festival. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're going to start building Camp Festival in Mars. And so we're going to build a cardboard Mars based camp at Camp Festival. We're going to build a massive rocket. We're going to, we're going to take it through the site with Helen Davenport, who you've introduced us to, who's going to make some cardboard, car a cosmic car a carnival procession. We've got Will Alexander, who's an incredible cardboard artist building the Mars landscape. We've got Steve Summers from Noisy Toys. We've got Malumba Toshika, who's going to be making miniature terracotta Martians. We're going to have a really amazing time at Camp Festival, and we're going to live stream it. So even if people can't get there, if we can get a yeah. signal, we're going to live stream from a green screen at Camp Festival. Wow, that's super amazing, man. That's really, <laughs> really good. I've got one more film, one more clip for you, because I think we are going to bring you back to Jankanu, you know. There's so much we can talk about. Uh, but I've got one more film. I don't know what it is. Let me see. Spring Lament. Is that you? That doesn't ring a bell. What's that? I don't know. No, I thought it was you. No? That's not you. No. No, that's not me. It's got your name on it. It's got Nick Coston on it. No. Gosh, well, I'll have to look that one up. I, I, that looks looks like me in a former life. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's you in your former life. Yeah, exactly. And okay. And then, okay. So listen, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. 
I didn't know because you do you know a uh, Roger from uh, Beauty of Seal Ideas? Have you no. heard of him? He's got a camera called Beauty of Seal Ideas, and he makes like you know the big like size horse with electric and so on with a guy called Parker. No. Oh, I've seen his work. Was he at Waltham Forest Festival the, on the opening of that with Chris Tofu? Yes, he would be. Yeah, Chris, he would be. Chris, Chris curated the whole of that road, didn't he? Host Street, I think it was. And uh, and there was a guy there with a crazy mechanical horse. Is that what That's it. Of? That's the guy. That's the guy. Yeah. No, I'm just saying this this work that I seen you there, it reminded me a lot of what some of the stuff that Roger does. Uh, but this I is don't a robot. know. This is I've got no this, clue this at what you're doing there. What are you doing? <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is a robot that can solve a Rubik's Cube in two minutes made out of Lego. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. It can solve a Rubik's Cube in two minutes made out of Lego. And that was, that was designed and built by an amazing guy called uh, David, who's a, 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 an incredible engineer. He, does, he works for the company that makes chips and iPads and tablets. Mm, mm, and he mm. builds these robots that can solve Rubik's Cubes. It's incredible. Mm. Even Rubik's Cubes with four, but four sides or eight sides. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Really amazing guy. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw so that. it's not I just cardboard. I'm... Yeah. And it's all Lego stuff as well. That's brilliant. <laughs> yes, full of com full of creativity. The creativity doesn't end really because I think I was, as I say I was looking up on your on your on your website. Look at that. There's so much stuff. So much stuff going on there. So I need like really two hours with you just to get just <laughs> well, that... to get just to get a, an eighth of all this. Well that, that link there, that page there is our Inspire Nation twenty one year packs. Four years ago, we were inspired. We were told that the government have got a national festival of creativity in 2022, mm -hmm. Festival UK 22, and they've given 120 million pounds to 10 organisations to run things. Yeah. And what we want to do, what we want to do with people like you, is put a gra bunch of people working on grassroots projects. We want to get mm. 22 people yeah. running Steam Co fans around the country, running creativity days in schools, in communities, in businesses, with businesses, and really bring everybody together because I believe that art and creativity are what what connect us at the end of the day and that's that's so important we've got to be bringing this country back together and not squabbling and arguing about the details you know let's crack on yeah, is what yeah, i say yeah. mm -hmm. no this is amazing you know uh hold on let me just uh oh nick that is m amazing and i'm so glad that we managed to catch you because he's such a busy guy so you can see flying left right and center and so on and now this weekend i think you got come best involved so tell me what other because i know you're always having a lot of exciting stuff but what are the exciting stuff is coming up uh and i'm hoping in a month we'll come back and have another chat with you for jankanyu so what exciting stuff because you never run out of exciting stuff do you <laughs> no we don't Pax. no we don't, we don't tend to run out of anything i mean basically you i want to take do. this i want to take this this cathedral on the road you know what's this is just so fantastic isn't it and yeah. it's all thanks to the department of culture the, the arts council england and lgfl who who sponsored us through this last year we're so so grateful we really are but you know i think one of the the things i want to leave behind today Pax, really is is that this is all about collaboration it's all about communities artists parents teachers working together to inspire mm, our children. Mm, mm. And I'd like to end the session today, if you don't mind, with just a 30 second clip of a head teacher on a school in Leeds called Chris Dyson, one of the most socially challenged communities in the country. But that community is passionate. They come together, they work together, they collaborate with their school. And this is what we did just before Christmas with that community, with a bit of cardboard, with some creativity, and some code. Thanks for having me, mate. Let's build a cardboard Tracy Island and run a community art festival on it all over the weekend and then fire a 200 foot cardboard rocket off. How on earth were we going to beat that? Well, another brave school leader, Mrs. Nelson at Joseph Cash Primary in Coventry, let us build a cardboard Coventry Cathedral in her playfield for a weekend art festival and to celebrate the fact that Coventry is this year's city of culture. The cathedral is a powerful symbol of rising up from the ashes, rising against adversity, being positive, being optimistic and having hope. We're appealing for help today to take this on our Inspired to Learn summer tour, inspired by the, one of the UK's most creative head teachers, Mr. Spracklin down there at Prince of Wales School in Dorset. We want to set up our Coventry Cathedral in school playing fields across the country and our green screen studio in assembly halls to live stream our own high assembly to their community. We'll then help them run a day of creative activities 
with rocket making, coding, inventing, designing and making before a real dynamite rocket launch to send everyone home buzzing at the end of the day. I don't think I've seen that many children that excited ever before. Will you help us inspire all our rocket kids to aim higher than high? There you go, Pax. <laughs> wow, amazing, man, amazing. Yeah, thank you very much, Nick. Yeah, and uh, we will catch up again. And, uh, you know, this has been really such a pleasure. And our viewers are going to enjoy watching all this. So thank you very much, boss. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us, Pax.